Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you may be and today is another review video. Oh, it's really exciting. I've got something new for you guys. Again, yeah, it's just too like really close to each other because just a while ago we looked at the Aftershocks headphones and now I've got something else new that I want to show you guys and we're going to do a little review video on it. Well, can you actually guess what's in here? I don't have the box, so... Or actually, I do have the box, but I was too lazy to get the box. So, there's no unboxing. We're just going to open this little pouch, and we're going to see what's in there. Shall I open it for you guys? Oh, it's exciting. I have got for you guys today... It's upside down. That's awesome. I have got for you guys, good guys today... The Vitality for Diamond Mini Bluetooth Blood Glucose Meter. Try saying that when you're drunk. Should we try it one more time? Vitality for a Diamond Mini Bluetooth Blood Glucose Meter. Yes, it's one of those things that you have to, um, uh, you should, I recommend having in house if you are worried about your blood sugar or if you are diabetic. Diabetics hate these things probably. I don't know. I don't hate this actually. It's a really cool little tool and I'm going to bring you in closer so that I can show it to you and tell you more about it. Oh, it's exciting. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go closer. Okay, so one of the reasons why I was too lazy to get the box is because there's actually nothing really that exciting to unbox. Um, it comes in a pouch like this and all you do is open the box and pull the pouch out and all of the good stuff is actually inside the pouch. So we're going to open it up and oh look, there's so loads of good stuff inside. Where to start? Oh, well, I'm going to start with this thing in the middle. And in Dutch this thing is called a prick pen. And in English I have no idea what the correct term is but I'm going to call it a lancet pen. Because basically what it is is a pen shaped object that uh, you load a lancet into. Preferably without twisting the wrong part, because that's not clever. You uh, basically twist the top off there like that, and you load the lancet into it. And take the top off the lancet, put this thing back on, and then you use the button in the middle to shoot it into your finger, and it makes the finger bleed, so that you can uh, check your blood sugar level. So this is this is the lancet pen. Uh, normally you'd pull it back with the lancet and then there's this button here that you do. You push to release the lancet. So that's those things. Speaking of lancets, there are... It comes with ten. I have already used one. <laughs> uh, it comes with ten and obviously there are more available to purchase. So these are the lancets. I'm obviously not going to take the top off one, but I will take one out of the bag. Just to show you in more detail what they look like. So these are the lancets. You pull this, you twist this bit off, and there's a needle underneath, um, which is the very sharp object that makes your finger bleed. So these are the lancets. Uh, it also comes with test strips, and the test strips are the things that uh, draw the blood and they go into the machine, you put it into the machine before you draw the blood of course you put it into the machine, you poke your finger, you shove this under the blood and it will draw the blood into it so that it can let the machine measure how much blood, glu blood glucose is in your body so these are the test strips um, it also comes with 10 of these and there are obviously more to purchase so those are the test strips uh, let's see what else it comes with it also comes with a charger, a wall charger, and it comes with a USB, mini USB to USB cable. Um, this is also a data cable, or at least I think it's also a data cable, uh, for uh, transferring the data from the device to a PC. There is no Mac accessible program, but that doesn't matter because it's also a Bluetooth device. So this is your charger and charging cable, um, so that it can be recharged, because it has a rechargeable battery inside. And the last thing in the wonderful pouch, oh no, that's not the last thing, the lancet pen. 
also comes with a clear top. And I have read somewhere that the reason why it comes with a clear one is because uh, this this one that's on the end of here is for poking your fingers and this one is for poking places in the rest of your body so if you need to get blood out of your leg or uh, your arm or somewhere like that then you need to use the clear one. That's what I've read. It's, you guys are experts on things like this so you can tell me if you're wrong but that's something else that came in the case. And then, of course, there is the blood glucose meter itself. So this is the Vitality Fora Diamond Mini blood glucose meter. Uh, why is it called the Vitality Fora? Well, it's made by a manufacturer called Fora that you that you can probably see on the back of the device. That is, if I don't have it upside down. Oh look, I am good. I don't have it upside down today. Uh, but it's uh, endorsed by a company called Vitality and the reason it's endorsed by them is because it comes with an application which you download onto your iOS or Android device and this application is what communicates with this thing when it's connected to your phone with Bluetooth and that app is made by, by Vitality so that's why it's called the Vitality Forum I keep wanting to say flora, but flora is something completely different. Uh, it's very lightweight. I don't know exactly how much it weighs. Less than 50 grams, that I know for sure. It's super, super light. I know the Aftershocks headphones that I have here weigh 41 grams. And this is lighter. So this is, this is definitely less than 41 grams. Uh, it's very small. It's in the palm of your hand, like that, so it's not very big at all. Uh, it's black and it come, it's black and white, it only comes in one colour. It's not very complicated to use. On the left side of the device is the port where the test strips go. On the right hand side of the device is under this wonderful rubber flap here. There is a data port where your USB mini USB cable goes into. And that is for charging or transferring the data to a PC. On the back of the device, somewhere out here, there's a little hole here. And inside there is a set button. And the only way to push the set button is to poke in the hole with a pin. Uh, and on the front of the device is a navigation button. It's basically used to turn it on, turn it off, and navigate through your blood glucose results if you want to view them back on the meter itself. Um, it measures in MMO slash L. I don't have any clue how you pronounce that properly, but that's what it measures in. It measures from 1.1 1 .1 to 33. It actually doesn't display results lower than 3.8, I believe, but it can measure, it does re register up to or as low as 1.1 and as high as 33, but the results that it displays are something from 3.8 to uh, 16 or something like that. Uh, that's a rough guess. I did read the specifications and now they've gone completely out of my head. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it can sort on up to 450 different results. Once the memory is full, it will delete the oldest results and replace that with the newer ones. It uh, can measure four different types of blood glu glucose, or there are four different ways to measure. You can register your measurement to... Uh, before a meal, which is AC, there is uh, PC, which is after a meal. I think AC is anti-consumption, uh, PC is post-consumption. So in terms of anti-meridium and uh, post-meridium, the AM and PM that we all know and love when we tell the time, it it's equal to that. So the anti is normally what you would do first thing in the morning before you eat something, that's AC. Uh, the PC is normally what you would do two hours after eating. 
Uh, some diabetics have to do that every time they've eaten something, so that's one you choose for the PC function. There is a general function which is not dependent on the time of day that you measure. And there also is a QC function which does not store the results in the meter and the reason for that is because you can buy control fluid to make sure the meter is working and measuring correctly. I have never in my life used control fluid for any meter that I have ever used. So I'm probably not a good diabetic. Technically I'm not diabetic by the way, I'm glucose intolerant. But yeah, I'm not a good glucose intolerant person because I don't own control fluid for this meter. So that's the meter itself. Um, there are a couple of features I like and there are a couple of features I dislike. Firstly, before I tell you about those, I will tell you about the app. It is called Vitality. If I go around on my phone, uh, we can unlock it. And in the health folder is this vitality application. Uh, it's a whole. Di it's called the Diabetes Buddy. And uh, the reason why it's called the Diabetes Buddy is because it's a whole diabetes diary. So not only can you bring your blood results from the meter to your phone with by using this app. Uh, you can keep track of your carbohydrates that you use. If you use insulin, you can keep track of how much insulin you've used. Uh, you can set reminders for taking insulin. You can set reminders for measuring your glucose levels. You can uh, make diary entries about what you eat and don't eat and what you drink and don't drink. And all of the information that you store in the app you can save as a PDF file and that can be sent to yourself via email or you can send it to your nurse or doctor or whoever the heck it is that deals with your diabetes or in my case my glucose intolerance. Um, the app is reasonably accessible. Uh, it was missing a couple of labels and a couple of labels are in the diary there are three buttons across the top of the screen here and these buttons were not labelled and somewhere in the app, I don't know how to make it happen anymore is which appears somewhere a star which is a favourite button to mark a specific day that was important in terms of maybe you had too high blood sugar or whatever and you wanted to mark that day is important there was a favourite button for doing that which also wasn't labelled but for the rest, this program is totally voiceover friendly. And the really nice thing about it is that the things that weren't labelled, voiceover recognised as buttons, so I was able to label them anyway. Um, uh, as you can see. Uh, my sugar level on Sunday was a little bit too high because it was 6.1. And I would prefer it to be lower than that, but... That's the whole reason why I got this meter, because I need to get that under control. So as you can see, it's possible to bring the results over and read them back on the phone. And that is the whole reason why I got this device. Because meters are getting harder and harder for me to read. So it's really nice to be able to pair it with, set it up with Bluetooth, pair it with your phone and send the data to the phone. So then even if I can't see the meter anymore, I can still read my blood glucose results back and that was the whole point of buying this meter. There, as I said there are a couple of features I like and there are a couple of features I don't like. I of course like the fact that it connects with Bluetooth and I can um, use the app on the phone uh, to read back my glucose results. That's awesome. I also like the fact that this meter is easily readable because when I turn it on it's a negative display, so it's white text on a black background, which is way much easier for blind people to read. Uh, if I push the button once more, it will show me my blood results from Sunday, which is, of course, the 6.1, which you also saw in the phone. So as you can see, the display is super easy to read because it's super big and super bright. 
um, which is really cool if you have some sight. Uh, what else do I like about it? It's small, it's lightweight, it comes in that awesome pouch which is really easy to carry around. Uh, there are some features that I don't like, one of the features that I don't like is this wonderful set button on the back. Um, there are various functions that you can um, set up if you push in this set button. So for example pairing it with Bluetooth is one of the things that you have to do using the set button. Or at least it's recommended to do it that way. There is also another way to do it and at the moment I have done it with uh, the other way which is actually recommended for the V4 version and I have V3 so I probably shouldn't have done it this way but it's working and it's stable so I'm not complaining but one of the reasons you use the set button for is for pairing the thing with your phone um, you need to push the set button also if you want to set the internal alarms which remind you to take your blood sugar measurements and there are also other things in there like the option to clear the memory if you want to clear the whole memory that's also something else that needs to be done with the set button I don't like that function I understand why that function's there so you can't accidentally reset it while it's in your pocket or in the pouch or whatever but it's not not an easy function to use definitely something I couldn't use independently because you need to be able to see it to do that anyway and that's something I don't want to strain my eyes for, so it's something I have to ask for help with. Luckily, I don't have to do regular blood measurements, so I don't need to set any alarms. But that's a feature I didn't like. The other feature I didn't like is I picked the pouch up out of the closet earlier on. Yes, I keep my blood glucose meter in my closet. That's, that's a secret that is now out and I can't do anything about it. But I picked it up from the closet earlier on and it beeped, I heard it beep and switch itself on while I grabbed the outside of the pouch. So this button is really damn sensitive and it will switch on while in travel. That's not good because then it drains the battery. And if I all of a sudden feel like crap and think, hmm, maybe I should take my blood sugar, it could be empty. And that could be an issue. So that was, that is also one of the features I don't like. Um, it does make high-pitched beeping sounds, which uh, for somebody who's hard of hearing like me, they're not particularly very easy to hear. But for somebody who's only visually impaired, uh, you can use those sounds to navigate the meter. Um, as you noticed just a while ago, I pushed the button three times to turn it off and on and off again. And as you noticed, it made different sounds while I was doing that. So it is possible to learn what the sounds mean and uh, so that you know what the meter is doing and yeah it's uh for the rest it's really simple and easy to use i'm just not a very happy person when it comes to that set button but it's light it's portable it's convenient it pairs up with bluetooth and that app via your phone and for that i'm very grateful because it means i don't have to spend a whole bunch of money buying a talking version so this was the Vitality Flora Diamond Mini Bluetooth Blood Glucose Meter. I'm, luckily I don't get drunk so I'm never going to have any issues saying that. And it came with all of these accessories. The strips, pen, lancets, uh, clear thing for the lancet pen. I don't have any clue what that's called. I'm definitely not a diabetes expert. Uh, charger and charging cable. That was your blood glucose meter. I love it. I'm going to have lots of fun with it, I think. Um, for me, it's a gadget, but also it's very useful. Um, and I'm going to enjoy using it. Although the pen hurts when you poke your finger with it. I will never get used to that. But for the rest, it's an awesome product. I'm very happy that I bought it. And um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy using it. So that was it guys, that was your review for today. I hope it was informative and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Until next time be good and if you can't be good, have fun.